Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing a reaction to Brian Ortega um, um, versus Yair Rodriguez taking place in a crowded event. I know this is not a really sort of video, but some guy from my comments uh, toast from my comments. He said make one of these videos quick, so I am gonna be making one of these. I'm gonna be reacting to um to the UFC coming uh coming to Long Island again in New York and what and the UFC should go to more events more often. I'm gonna be also reacting to that. Um and not going as much to the Apex. But this is good news. Uh Yair Rodriguez, Brian Ortega. I'll also give an early prediction and breakdown because why not to Ortega Rodriguez? I do believe um let's not I'm not gonna get into it yet, but like it's in a, an arena, a crowded arena, uh, UBS Arena in Long Island, New York. The last time I think Long Island, New York came to the UFC, I think was Chris Weidman versus someone, uh, Kelvin Gastelum, Chris Weidman. Um, and I also have a list here. Um, UFC came to every weekend, came to, they came, UFC every weekend, by the way, they came. To a, an a crowded event, I think the UFC a little bit downgraded with the Apex. But I'll go to when I'll go back to 2017. Um, okay, there's so many crowded events here. I'll go back to 2017 though. Um, I'll go up ahead. Um, nine. But UFC back. Okay, UFC though. <clears throat> this is in a crowded event. Um, this is good news. Um, they last came there, I think, Weidman versus Gastelum. If I'm, uh, yeah, Weidman Gastelum, Long Island, Long, Long Island, New York. This is pretty good. You can have some fighters on this card. I'm um, not the same arena. This is Nassau Coliseum, but um, this is pretty good. What fighters were that? You, I think there's some fighters from um. That's from Long Island. There's Aljamain Sterling, but he can't really fight on this card because he has a championship belt right now, so you can't put him there. He might return around this time, but unfortunately, you can't put this on on a... What's it called? You can't put this on a fight. You can't put Sterling there. But, um, you can put Chris Weidman on this card. You can put... I think you can... Alain Quinta at the time, but he's not even... He's not in the UFC anymore. He retired after his Bobby Green loss. A lot of people you can add. Um, what fighter can fight on this card? Uh, maybe Frankie Edgar, if he wants to return. I mean, yeah, maybe he can return. Um, but yeah, Chris Weidman can come. I think I mentioned him. They should have more events in the crowd. I want to make this video. I haven't seen anyone else do this. They should put more crowded events on. I, this card's really stacked already. You got Askar Ask. Okay, first off, you got Ortega Rodriguez. Um, you got Askar Askarov, Alex Perez, Dustin Jacoby versus Dalton Young, Michelle Watterson versus versus uh, Amanda Lemos, Kuzian Ashkabov, twenty three and zero prospect versus Herbert Burns, uh, Pene fourteen L. I don't really care about that one. Soriano looking Bula is a good fight. Simone Shore on the prelims. Same with Cornillo versus Algio, and Li Jing Liang, Muslim Salak of a great violence, uh, violence uh, match there. But yeah, the card is very good. The card, the card is really good. I think you should add like a few more fights for the main card. I think the main card's kind of stacked already. Uh, maybe you can put Simone Shore on the main card with Salak of Li Jing Liang, and you can add like two more prelim bouts. This card's already stacked. I am going to be going for Ortega over Rodriguez, by the way. I think Ortega will get a guillotine. I might switch to Rodriguez, honestly, but he sometimes dips his head. I think Ortega can latch up to a guillotine. I don't think he has the same. And Rodriguez, I think the rounds go on. I think Rodriguez will slow down. But in a three-rounder, I'd probably go Rodriguez. But five-rounder, I think, favors Ortega. I don't think Rodriguez is, has the same survivability. As like a Volkanovski would get out of the situation, so I definitely see Ortega latching up a guillotine on him. We saw Holloway latch up a guillotine on Rodriguez, but Rodriguez was able to get out of it. I think Ortega gets that one. 
it's weird they put it in New York because usually I'd put it like this one I'd put like in like Sandy Fight Night San Diego. I don't think I've ever been there. Um, Fight Night San Diego in California. Um, Anaheim, California. Not Long Island, New York. But I get it. Good fight. Um, but yeah, UFC should go to more. If I was dumb, I would go to more crowded events. We've seen they came to like countries like Glasgow, Scotland, Nelson Ponds, Nibio, Weidman Gaslam, and that pay per view in Cormier Jones, Mexico City, from Anaheim, California to Mexico City, Pettis Moreno, and then New, uh, not New Zealand, um, um, what is this? The Netherlands, you know, and then they came to. Canada, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They went to Japan and Vegas. This is back then, but I think the Apex is kind of ruining the UFC. Then they went to they did all these events. Um, they went to New York, Brazil. UFC should come. I like how they're doing this. I'm gonna look at the recent events coming up. <sighs> okay. When we get to Teixeira Prolasco, we're kind of on, like, a bit of a spree of great cards. Let's be real. We are on a bit of a spree. We just need to get to Teixeira Prolasco. We need to get past Volkov Rosenstreich. Not a good card whatsoever. This is probably one of the last bad cards until, I guess, Jamal Hill, Tiago Santos. That's a pretty sad card, though, not going to lie. Gee. Yeah, that's a good card. Luke K. Neal as, uh, as a Coleman event. It's a pretty good Pretty good, but um, I guess Dos Santos Fidziev. What do they have? Let's see. They have Calvio Nunes, Shevchenko Casey, Garbrandt Yaya. That's a good fight. Not really a great card, but Ricky Tercios is coming back. That's a great card. But what do they have listed up? They have a lot of arena events. They got, okay, next week is the Apex again, but it's Volkov Rosenstrike. Not really anything. Singapore, they're going to. Austin, Texas, they're going to. Apex again. Uh, Vegas. And Apex again. They should not go to the Apex more so. But Dos Santos Fiziev is not really a big fight. They're going to New York here. Um, London, they're going back to. And then Dallas, Texas. They go to Texas a lot. I didn't even notice that. And then this card has Luke Rockhold versus Paulo Costa. Which is a great fight. I thought that was a. I thought that was a. Um. I thought yeah. I guess it was. I guess about what we were scheduled. All oh, this card's kind of weak now. Not gonna lie. That's sad. Um. But yeah. Um. Two seventy eight is gonna be a great card. Salt Lake Salt Lake City Utah. But yeah. Um. I don't really care. Great fights, though. Um, how do I... I just, I'm stuck on this page now. I don't know how to get back. I need to get back. Um, who are we just talking about? Ortega. Let's find someone that has Ortega in the name. Okay, he was on this card. I'm going to get back to him in this way. Ortega. There we go. I'm back to Ortega. Um, but, yeah. They should go more to crowded events, I think. It makes sense. I know it's hard because sometimes they have it's hard. To, like they have to make them like put the money in and just set, like the rent to the arena. But I'd say I'd say do it more often. Not do the apex every weekend. Like I noticed they do this like like apex, 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 big pay per view card in Madison Square Garden. Apex, 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 Las Vegas uh, arena and. Uh, T-Mobile Arena and uh, Las Vegas. Uh, Apex. 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 You know, it's kind of annoying. Go to more of these events. But it's great. It's great. This is a great card. I put... This is what I'd do. Don't do it as much. Why am I on this page? I want to get out of this page. Let's go up to the recent one. But yeah. Get more crowded events in. They're going back to Paris in September as well. So that's pretty good. And go more and don't stay in US. Like, don't stay in the USA so much. Like, I understand they're going back. 
They really go to Texas a lot. Oh my goodness. They go to Texas so much. I kind of started to notice that. They go to Texas really, like, a lot. They went to, to Houston, Texas. San Antonio. They go to, they go in a lot of Texas a lot. I actually didn't know they noticed that, but you notice Cater Emmett's a stat card. Cerrone Lozon. It's Magulov Kuta de Lenzi. Marquez Rodriguez. Holland Means. Buckley Darayev. Great prelim fouls. Yanez Kelly on the prelims. Same with Wells McGee and uh, Stamen Wineland. You know, great man about it in Cater uh, Emmett. And you see some of these Apex cards are not good. Home Vieira, let's go to, for example. You got Tabitha Ricci, Poliana Viana, Yin Young Park, Eric Anders, Joseph Holmes, Alan Madofsky. Go to more crowded events. I like the news, though. Yeah, I just wanted to do it, because why not? Um, yeah, hopefully this kind of gets some views. And yeah, I want to do more of these type of videos. Comment down below if you want me to more. If you don't want me to, I won't. Uh, some, um, I was just told to maybe do it, and so I decided I'll do the idea of it. Just don't, just go to a bit more of crowded events and go to like Canada, Fight Night, Toronto, you know, um, Brazil. Fight Night Brazil, Sao Paulo Brazil, Rio de Janeiro Brazil, Fight Night, Aldo, the, Aldo versus Cruz in the main event, Coen event, I don't know, um, Mikel Pajaya, no, Mikel Pajaya versus, I don't know, Vicente Luque, I don't know, I just said that because I see Luque's name down here, but, Andrade, so I see Andrade's name there, um, pay-per-view event there with Oliveira, you know, go to more of these events, go to Auckland, New Zealand, fight night, I want them to do that again, but yeah, like and subscribe, I just want to just, I, tw I just wanted to get this off my chest a little bit, just to, just to say that, you know, they're going back to London a lot, maybe they're going to go back there at the end of the year, but We'll see what happens. You see, London's also a stacked card. We see that card. Oh my goodness, they actually are stacking that card. Till Hermanson. That's a main event worthy. Maybe not now because they're coming off losses, but that's main event worthy. Gustafsson Krilov. Uh, Craig Ozdemir. Makayev Johnson. McCann Goldie on the prelims. That's a stacked card right there. You got grid fights here. Dikeji Hadzovic and Dalby Silva. They're stacking these cards. Go to more crowded events. We're getting good cards. Adesanya Kendanier is legit a very good card. Very great card. You got Lawler Barbarina on the prelims. Sam Miller Green, Brudel Turner, Uriah Hall, Andre Menez. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to get this off my chest. And also, I like the news. Yeah. Peace out, guys. Peace. Peace out. Peace.